All right, everybody, welcome back. So this is the um, the por part of this playlist where we're going to um, try and exploit Metasploitable 2. Um, the goal of this is just to give you a basic introduction into um, this uh, part of the process of pen testing. Usually when you think about hackers, this is the part where we think most about hackers, and this is where a lot of the fun happens. So in the previous tutorial, we went ahead and we did an nmap scan. Um, and one of the things that we found was that port 8180 was open. So um, we also found that Telnet was running. Uh, we also found that SSH was running. So one of the things that we can try is, and, and the thing with pen testing is a lot of the times um, it's a lot of trial and error. Um, it's trying something, seeing if it works, if it, does, it doesn't, going back to the drawing board and trying it again. As you get more and more experienced with penetration testing, you'll come to know what things work, what things don't work, um, and you'll have a better idea of um, what you can and can't do. So the first thing we're going to do is let's just try to tell that into Metasploitable. So we'll come here and we'll put in the IP address. Let's type in Telnet, we'll hit enter, and that didn't work. So let's let's try something else. Um, we can do Oh sorry, I had a typo on that. Um, yeah, so this one it actually works. Um, and the login tells us what the password is. So if we do MSF admin, and here we are. We've just hacked into the Metasploitable machine. Um, one of the things that a hacker wants to do often is gain super user or root privileges or as high of privileges as you can. So let's go ahead and see. Let's um, let's see if we can become a super user. So let's type in sudo su. It's going to ask for the password. So we'll just type in msf admin as a guess. And voila, that works. We are now root. So what does this mean? Um, well, it means that um, we can now go in and we can set up um, false services. We could write a script in here that um, would do something evil. So, um, so let's just let's just come here to the desktop, and um, we'll just do I don't know. We'll do hello world, and anyways, you may have to transfer something. But um, the idea here, though, is that you can come in, and um, there are a lot of things that you can do. So here we go. So we're in here. Um, we're in Python, so we'll just write print. And you'll have to forgive me, because I don't actually know how to use the, um, them very well. I do know how to quit out of it. Um, so we're here at root Metasploitable. Um, so let's go ahead and let's just get out of here. And we'll type exit twice. Now we're back here to Kali. Let's now come here and let's open up Armitrage. Um, in the past, we ran some scams and we found some exploits. So let's try, um, let's try a, a type of attack here. We already did Telnet. Um, so let's go ahead and let's try FTP. One of the things before I, we get into this is um, different exploits have different probabilities of working. Because each machine in the world is configured a little bit differently, there's a chance that um, an exploit that's known to work really well may not work on the machine that you're trying to attack. So again, that's where it comes back to where this is a lot of trial and error. Um, and so let's go ahead and let's just try this first one. Let's see if this works. Um, and um, so right here we've got um, a good description of what this does. Um, you can read through it if you want. Um, and then here we have all of our options. What we're doing here is we're running a Metasploit, which is different from Metasploitable. Um, they're both made by the same company, Rapid7. Um, Metasploit is a framework used for um, hacking. Um, you can exploit services, you can put payloads on them. Um, Metasploit's a pretty powerful tool. Um, and so what Armitrage has done this application is it gives us a GUI version 
um, rather than a command line version of Metasploit. So here we go. Um, we've got this. Um, it's got all the options put in. And let's go ahead and let's click launch and we will see what happens. Um, and so it'll open up a new tab here. Um, it goes through and it sets all of um, the different options and then it automatically runs the exploit. So um, in this case it did not work. So we can come in here and we can try a new one. If I can close that tab. Um, so we can try a different type of attack. We could come here and we could try an SSH one. Um, we can do a semantic one. So let's go ahead and try this. Let's see if that works. It's attempting to log in right now. And it didn't, the authentication failed. So just because Metasploit has a lot of things that um, have a lot of exploits and payloads doesn't mean that they'll necessarily work. Um, when you're doing pen testing in a real world environment, it's important to plan out your tech ahead of time. Um, especially if you're trying to be quiet um, and not alert the sysadmin to your presence. Um, and again, this is all supposed to be ethical, so um, don't hack anything that you shouldn't be. Um, but if you really don't care, if your client doesn't care, there's an option in here called the Hail Mary within Armitrage. So we'll go ahead and click that. Basically, like it says here, it's just going to flood a host with a bunch of exploits. Um, and so, you know, this isn't really like the best option, but we'll just run it here so you can see what happens. So the first thing it'll do is um, it queries the payloads and based on the Nmap scan that it ran earlier, um, it's going to try and figure out what um, potential exploits it can do. Um, and once it's finished with that, then it's going to try and run basically every single one that it can think of. Um, so here in the command line down here, you can see that it is trying all of these different ones. Um, and here we've got our status key that talks about the progress it's making. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll wait for that. Um, but while that's going, um, the other thing that we'll do here is we'll just show you what um, Metasploit in the command line looks like. Um, it often, the first thing it'll usually do is set up a database. If it prompts you to do that, just hit yes. And it usually takes it a minute to load. So here we go. Um, this is Metasploit, Metasploit version 4.1630. Um, and here's all the info about it. There's also a pro version of Metasploit, which costs money. Um, in our case, we just have the basic um, free community version. So if you want to use an exploit, um, sorry, that's the wrong command. You type in use. And then um, you do whatever exploit you're using. So let's say it's a Linux machine. You want to do SSH. Sorry, I can't type. Um, and then you can come here and say VMware. And then hit enter. Um, once you have that, let's, oh, OK. It found some attacks. So we'll go back to that in a second. Um, you want to come in here and you want to set options. Um, and so, in this case, it's saying receiving host, the target address. Um, and just so you know, I just chose this um, completely at random. So, if you want to set an option, you just do set, in this case, our host, and then the attacking, the, the target address. So, in our case, it's 168.56.103. Um, hit enter, and then if you hit options, it shows you that that's been updated. So then if you go ahead and you click, you either can type in run or exploit. They both do the same thing. Um, and then it'll go ahead and it'll try to run that exploit. In this case, um, it failed because we're not running on VMware and we don't know the private key. So if we come back here to Armitrage, um, with our Hail Mary attack, um, it changed 
to lightning, which means we've compromised it. Um, and so, yeah. Um, so that's going to, that covers um, this part of armitrage. Um, and so if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Um, depending on time, we may or may not do an additional exploit video. Um, but this should give you some of the basics to go ahead, um, get on your feet, um, get a little oriented, and um, know what you need to do. So thank you for watching.